right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So I got hit up by one of my closest friends regarding a question on how to save time when going to the gym. So I thought I'd give some quick tips on what I've learned over the years regarding this. And the one thing I think about more than anything when trying to save time in the gym is going at it alone. Now, if you have a workout partner, that's wonderful. If you love working out with people and that's what you know, gives you the energy and the push to keep working out, stick with it. But I'm just here to tell you, if you're looking to save time, uh, definitely go at it solo. One of the things that I've learned over the years having workout partners and not having them is when you do have a workout partner or partners for that matter, a lot of times you end up spending a lot of time either bullshitting, waiting for one another, even during the workout, kind of getting caught up and having discussions and it's just a lot longer. It may be funner, but I'm just telling you, if you go at something alone, it's very specific. You could set the exact time you want to go, when you want to leave, the exact type of workout you want to do. Big difference, I'm just telling you right now, if you go alone compared to a partner, if you're looking to save time. Another thing I would advise is doing some things maybe at home uh, before you go to the gym, if you have the time. Because I think there's some things you can do, like for instance, stretch. You can warm up. You can say you want to do abs, for instance, at the gym. Maybe you could do some at home, a few of those to save time when you get there. Even walking, just getting some blood flow. Maybe if you have a, a cycle at home or something, kind of just preparing for the gym and knocking out those extra five, 10 minutes so when you get there, you're not so rushed. Also, I think a lot of times with people where they get kind of screwed up with not having enough time, it's how long does it take for you to get to wherever you're working out, if it's a gym, a yoga class, Pilates, CrossFit, whatever the case may be, um, does it take you 15, 20 minutes to get there, okay? Can you find something closer, five or 10 minutes? Because if it takes you 20 minutes to get there, say, and 20 minutes to get back or whatever to your next, next destination, then you gotta understand if it's only five or 10 minutes, you're gonna be saving those 10 or 20 minutes and that means a lot, a lot of times when going to work out. I also see a lot of people trying to cram too much in their workout. So let's say, for instance, you do a three-day workout. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you do weights, for instance, and you do cardio. Maybe add another day. You know, maybe just do weights one day, cardio the next, take a day off. Maybe do the same thing the following couple days. But break up your workouts. You may just have to add another day, which then you can shorten your other workouts. And also, you may consider adding a weekend if you're not already. A lot of times, we have a lot more time on the weekend than we do during the week. Add an extra workout on that weekend. Or in my case, I like to actually go on two days on the weekend because for the most part, when I go to the gym, this is how I save time as well, when I get there, there's not that many people. I can get on whenever I want and I can kind of fly through everything where sometimes when you go to a gym, there's too many people and you're kind of waiting for certain things or you can't get on certain things, that can be time consuming as well. And here's something that I, been doing throughout my life. I have a workout bag that I obviously carry with me to go to the gym, but I also have a backup bag a lot of times because sometimes, you know, I may be in a position where I didn't even plan on working that day, but all of a sudden I found that I had time and I can get a quick workout in, I would throw that in there. And a lot of times we'll be like, oh, we're not gonna have time to work out, I'm not gonna bring my bag, so I'll just either blow it off that day or do another day, but you go to do something and you find out after you're done doing it, man, I wish I had my bag, I could have, went and worked out after I did this. Always kind of be prepared to fit something in that maybe you wouldn't have before. I would recommend to finding a gym, like I just say LA Fitness, 24 Hour Fitness, or any franchise that has multiple you know, fitness centers. Because I think what happens with a lot of us is, we end up going to different places to meet different people and do different things. And us always having to go to one specific spot isn't gonna always happen. So if you have a meeting across town and you, you know, or it runs late or whatever the case may be, you know, instead of having to like go all the way back maybe to your gym, you may be somewhere where you're like, hey, I got a break for an hour and a half. Let me just run into this gym right here because I'm already a member. That I think really saves a lot of time because if you are revolving everything around one specific place, it gets hard and I just personally, when I go do whatever I do throughout the week or the day, I know, for instance, an LA Fitness is gonna be everywhere I want, so if I don't go to a gym right from my house, I know, hey, later after lunch, I could fit in a quick workout. After dinner, I could fit one over here. If I'm gonna end up over here by my daughters, I could do that. If I ended up in this area, I can go there. I have access to go wherever I want, whenever I want. And I'm gonna wrap it up with this. I would always at least have a gym 
or have a fitness center very close to my house, I want access to that. I know a lot of people do it with work. They go to a gym or work out wherever they are near work. I get it 100%. You may want to drive there, work out, and just go right to work. Or after work, you know, go right to your gym, then come home. The only thing with that a lot of times is if you end up missing workouts or, you know, say a weekend again, a lot of people don't like to drive all the way back to maybe where they work. It's too far. You having access to your house, you know, if the gym's open from 6 in the morning till 10 or midnight or whatever the case may be, you can kind of go whenever you want. A lot of times, let's face it, if you leave work and come all the way home, you're not going to drive all the way back to where you probably worked uh, to work out again. Also, you may quit that job. You may leave that job. Who knows? COVID, you have to stay home. Whatever the case may be, having a gym near your home or something close that you can kind of go quickly to and leave quickly, I think is the key. So there are just some quick tips I came up with. Hopefully they helped you, but you know, I think what you have to realize more than anything, I think when it comes to working out is figuring out a schedule that works specifically for you, but also understand maybe changing it up, adding a day, like I said, or just having the freedom to maybe start understanding. You can't always work out maybe in the morning before work. You just, there's maybe not enough time. After work, you may be, you know, you have to get home with your kids or whatever. You may have to learn how to work out later at night, for instance. These are things that are gonna help you because I realized working out later at night or after work for the most part, I had so much more freedom. When I worked out during the days, it killed me because I felt very restricted. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, if you get a chance, check out my podcast, The Rich Lindsay Show. Uh, what else do I got on my LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram? If you get a chance, please subscribe. I'm trying to get as many members as I can because I'm trying to hit a certain uh, quote, I guess you could say. But hey, take care. If you got any comments or questions, let me know.